The story of the chandelier is a strange one. I was maybe 15 or 16 years old and I was invited at this birthday party and there was this pool table and above the table there was a chandelier. It looked like this bouquet of different colorful crystal flowers enmeshed together. It struck me. This is a design concept. Maybe 20 years later, I was at a furniture shop and I wanted to buy furniture for the house. And I bumped into the same exact chandelier. Old and dusty, but the same one. I asked them, for how long have you had this chandelier? They said, maybe 20 years. No one ever wanted it. I said, fine, I will have it. I don't remember how many years ago, but at least 15, 20 years ago, I took my friend Jumana Vendesh to a Sufi event in, in Tripoli. She was so mesmerized by the whirling of the dervishes that she came back home and did this calligraphy in gold that says, La ilaha illallah, Allah Akbar, which is the zikr. Little did I know that this would change her life. She abandoned everything that she was doing until now, martial arts, illustration, commercial uh, drawings, and she consecrated herself fully to the art of sacred calligraphy. There was this whole legend when this uh, apartment was my uh, parents' house of this rock that they were unable to remove. And because of this rock that was unable to be removed, they created this platform that became the buffet for the dining room. When I moved into the house, I decided to actually extend the platform rather than try to remove the rock. This is the story of a woman who lost her child. She decided to become a painter. The painting I fell in love with represents three balls on a table. One of them is full of blue pigment. One of them is white. One of them is black and on the edge of the table. I think it might be symbolic. The room painted in black was the presentation room. The idea was to do it fully black so that basically the clients would focus completely on the project. And then after we opened the blue velvet curtain, they would see again the garden outside. Because I had a whole collection of objects, carpets, calligraphies, mandalas, and so on. I wanted to create a canvas of gray where those objects would be enhanced. Therefore, the floor, the walls, the ceiling of the house became all this gray that would enhance the objects. Forty years ago, my father decided to add a family TV room in the house. He added this extra room with the wooden cedar windows that give onto the garden terrace. Forty years later, the same windows are there, although the room has witnessed being a first office, a second office, and is now a dining room. There was a wall in the space of the shoji panels. It was the separation between the parents' bedroom and the reception area. Right now, it's the separation between two houses, the private house and the public house. I brought the rice paper, actually from Japan. My friend Aya used to live there. And we tried to uh, construct them in the respect of the Japanese tradition, without glue, without screws. <laughs> 